see. Oh, I literally just walked in after a day. I have a small bag like this, and I was looking for a bigger, I wanted a sling bag, so I went to the African shop that's right a block away, less, less than a block away. It's actually is where, is where um, Professor, I say Professor, my Buddy, that's what we did, fraternity name, Buddy, where he gets all his garments from, you know, and uh, he gets me garments all the time, so I'll be wearing these pants in a little while. That, that, that can happen today, too. But, you know, when I left, I left, I, well, I purposely left my book you know, that I'm reading now. I'm reading it so slow because I like it so much. Because I wanted to do some other stuff, writing the, you know, the, the transit system in New York City. What else did I buy this morning? Oh, yeah, I bought, I had to buy uh, a lock. Because the swimming pool there, you have to have a lock. Uh, they, they, have, they have lockers, you have to have a locker to go in and blah, blah, blah. So I'll be swimming, you know, doing my little, um, you know, Zoom, do a little exercise, actually Tai Chi in the pool. But here's the thing, I left that. But, uh, and, all that stuff I have to win. Oh, the water. Oh, you know, I, 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 nah, should I go in chronological order? Nah, I don't ever go in chronological order. Um, now I, I carry this, this little plastic water, but I know I should have, yeah, 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 yeah it's glass, whatever it is. Oh, it's too heavy. Anyway, the, food, the Union Square, you know, market is open. Um, now, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturday. So in my coming back after going down, I'll tell you what I did going down. You know, after swim pool and everything like that, I got this tea, you know, and so I drank the tea, and I had some, some, um, what do you call it? I had, some, had tea, and I had some uh, uh, ice left, so I put the ice in there, and whatever. So that's why you have that there. Okay. Now let me go back. So after I went swimming, right, I took a nap, then I got up and I decided, you know, to go downtown to check on. Um, I have this photo, this, this, um, what do you call that? It's a, it's a negative, but it's a large negative. And nobody could process it, so I had to go to a real Photoshop. So after, after futzing around all over the place, you know, I finally, I finally gave in and looked at my phone and asked about you know, professional photo. But anyway, it's a large, it's a large negative. You can't see it, but um, it's going to cost me a bit. But I'm going to get this made up in a few weeks, whatever happens. You'll see what it is eventually. Um, it was a, oh, I'll tell you what that is. Uh, and then, but on my way down, you know, follow me. This is like existential. On my way down, I started, because I wasn't reading, I started writing some stuff um, because uh, I'm in New York. I'm, I'm, I'm arts director of Murders with WBI Radio. If I come to town, a live radio drama, a live audio drama has got to be happening. So I started to make some notes. And if it happens the way it's supposed to happen, well, they'd redesign the studio, and I think we're going to have live streaming, you know, with cameras, what have you. So if that happens, oh boy, you're going to see something you ain't never experienced before. Why? Because everything I do is what you never experienced before. Okay, what else I have in here? What else happened? Okay, oh yeah, I made, uh, made some appointments for some, 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 some uh, interviews that I had to do. And coming back, I stopped by... Uh, I stopped by Barnes & Noble on 14th Street. That's when I got the, 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 the tea, whatever have you. Um, uh, because I was looking for the, the score for Black Panther, right? Not the soundtrack, not the soundtrack. The score, because the score has Bob Mamal on it. I got to have me some Bob Mamal. I made him hot. I can't put that air conditioner on because it makes too much noise. As you, if you look, listen to the other post, it makes too much noise. I can't do that. Anyway. But Bob Mamal is on it. And so I got to have that. But they only have it in vinyl. You know, so in a few weeks I get the thing that, you know, you know, I have people that, that still have, you know, whatever, we'll do that. So I'll have that copy of that. But what reason, one of the reasons why I went to, at Barnes & Noble, like this was 30% off, I got, you say, hey, Anthony, what do you mean? Yo, T, what are you talking about? After he's got the bird, what, what significance could that possibly have, you know? Well... As you may or may not know, I'm a cinephile. A long time ago, when I ran away from home, and, and when I was nine years old, I ran to the Bronx movie theater. It's a long story. But the point is, this is the most accessible film that I found on black revolution, or from, let's say, the, the well, ADOS struggle. Oh, I know you have your doubts. 
this is the most successful. Yeah, written by an English woman, directed by uh, 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 you know an uh, immigrant, you know, a uh, 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 director. Not no, not a black person in this movie. So you think? Not a black person. I think maybe there was. I don't. I remember. I have to. I'll, I'll look at it and I'll see. I'll, I'll report back to you. But why do I call this the most revolutionary, accessible film? Ever film, yeah, beyond burn, yeah, beyond you know, Battle of Algiers, beyond you name it, beyond it. Stay tuned, I'll tell you another time. Then I came home, but what I did was I took the bus up, you know, from 14th Street, bus goes straight up the limited, you know, the you know, limited all the way up to 125th Street. Hey, man, nice up here. And when I got off, guess what? I went to the shop and got this kit the cloth. He said, but that doesn't look like Kente Clark from Ghana. Ah, that's where you'd be wrong, because you're thinking in the past. You're thinking that things don't evolve, but things always evolve. Yes, they do. This is, this cough is about maybe, they started printing about, doing this about maybe uh, three, five years ago, most, most, maybe about three years ago. And so I'm going to do something with this, which you will see, okay? So as I say again, for the revolutionary take on the birds, Africa's Catch of Birds, to what this is all about, to a bunch of other things, you know, now some of the all your drama, right? Just as they say, or as uh, Fred, our boy, used to say, you know, stay tuned. Stay tuned to me, T, from the Pattersons taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from A Des, well, it says D Des, but of A D O S, that would be the American descendants of Chapel Slave.